Hey, what's up guys, uh, I'm very excited today. This is a brand new smartwatch that came out about a month ago. It's called the Emu Z6. It's the world's first dual camera smartwatch and it's a smartwatch for kids. Now when I say dual camera, it has a camera on the front and on the back of the smartwatch. Sounds a little bit crazy, but I'll showcase to you guys how that works. Now I'm gonna cover four things in this video reviewing this awesome little gadget. First cover the specs of this watch, then the watch itself, to see the build quality, how it operates, a bit about the camera. Then I'll dive into the app that you need to connect with the watch as well to use all of the functionalities. And then lastly, showcase an example of a video call to see how cool it looks. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so this is the watch. It comes in two colors, green and purple. I have the one in green. It costs £199 from the official Emu website. I have a link down below where you can purchase this. I'm going to go ahead, set this up on my wrist and showcase to you guys the different functionalities and specs that this comes with. So pretty excited. It is for kids, but I'm going to be testing it on myself and getting one of my friends to help out with the video call. Now this is aimed at parents and families who are not really ready to buy their kids smartphones yet but they want to keep in touch with them and just for security and safety purposes they want to know where they are maybe they're out playing with their friends they're in school and they want to keep in touch then this is the perfect solution so let's dive in with some of the specs and how you can keep in touch with them and the different functionalities and some really cool features that you can do with this just before i get started there's only two things that come in the box you get the watch and you get the charger to charge this you really need to just flip this out when you flip out the screen just at the back there you can see there's a charging point you take the charger, it's magnetic, snap it on, there we go, it's now charging. When you do open this screen, it by default goes to the camera because it assumes you're going to take some pictures. So you can do that by just flipping this open and the camera app will open by default. So this smartwatch has a two-way phone, video and chat capability, which I'll be showcasing in a second. The battery on this is 680 milliamp hours. Now, depending on how much you use it, it can give you a good few days of use and it is charged via the USB charger. The band material itself is made of thermoplastic elastoma, which is a highly durable and abrasion resistant silicone with a soft and silky feel. Now the CPU on this is Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 2100 and it is powered by Android. The storage on there is eight gigabytes of ROM and it does have wireless connection capabilities. So you would require a nano SIM for the data on there. So you can use 2G, 3G or 4G. Now let's take a closer look at the watch itself. All right guys, as you can see, this design is perfect for kids. It's got the words water resist there on the right hand side and then make friends on the left hand side. And I'll explain a little bit more about make friends through the app shortly in this video. So this has a dual camera setup, which is the highlight feature of this smartwatch. The front camera there is a five megapixel camera and then the camera at the back which you flip open like this this is an eight megapixel rear camera and both are wide angle cameras at 84 degrees now the pictures can be taken at f 2.2 aperture and it does have built-in autofocus which is amazing on a smartwatch the lens itself is a sapphire lens which is basically an extremely durable and scratch resistant optical lens the screen here is a 1.4 inch touchscreen and it's made by Corning Gorilla Glass, which is the same glass used by a lot of the flagship smartphones like the Samsung phones, etc. And it's also an AMO LED display. The screen resolution is 320 by 360 and the touch and feel of the screen itself very much feels like a very standard Android phone. And for me, that's very rare to see nowadays, especially for a smartwatch of this caliber, which is tailored specifically for children. And finally, the watch itself is IPX8 water resistance. So it does have components that have been designed for allowing the watch to be submerged up to 20 meters deep. So if you do take this swimming, then it will be absolutely fine. So that is an excellent rating on that front. Right, before I dive into using the app, to get the full capabilities of the app, you're going to need a data SIM card. So I've ordered one which has data only, which I really don't need to require any phone calls or text messages but it has data on there. Now you need to get a tiny screwdriver to just open this data compartment, like so. So I've got my EE SIM card, which is data only. And then I'm just gonna be clipping this back into place like this. Once that's connected, you are now up and running and you can get the full capabilities of the app. Right, so let's quickly scroll through some of the apps that are on the watch itself before I open the app. 
you can change the watch face there's some options in the app that you can choose to do that you have your step counts at the top there if you scroll to the right you have a full list of your apps that you've downloaded so a lot of these are the default ones so you've got steps and you have your photo album for pictures you've taken you've got your camera there for photos and videos you have the app center you can change the themes alarm clocks messages and plenty of other options to get up and running so i will showcase some examples of photos and videos that i've taken using this as well so in the album is where you'll be able to see them and you can share that if you go in you can pretty much see all of the pictures that i've taken look at the quality it's so good for a smartwatch i wouldn't expect a watch to take pictures just as good as this i'll take some more outside as well and i'll share them in this video so you swipe right to go back and then you can go into any of the other apps that you like okay so inside the watch settings you can change things like the display and the brightness the ringtone and the volume of the calls you can update the software from here bluetooth settings photo modes camera settings and more now when you take in photos the camera is automatically looking at the best focus so if it's out of focus it will try to also focus itself you can swipe down to change the camera to the back camera and the front camera if you change to the back one it does have up to six times optical zoom so all you have to do is slide up on the right hand side you zoom in it will try to focus at one point and then you can tap to take a picture likewise Anytime you want to take a picture using the front or back camera, all you have to do is just tap the screen and a picture will be taken. If you do use the front camera to take a picture, it will give you a very fast three second countdown and then it will take the picture. The three seconds, it seems a little bit more like two seconds in real life, but it does a good job giving you some time to adjust. Now let's dive into the actual Emo app that you can use to connect all of these features. Okay, so open up the Emo app. By default, you will go to the chat screen, which is the tab there on the bottom left. So I've set this up as a kid for the watch and you can set it up the first time to ask if it's your son, your daughter, your niece, your nephew, whatever it may be. And you can get other family members who have this watch as well and set them up in a family group. So in terms of location tracking, you can actually see by default on the Google Maps view here where your child was last. If you hit on update, that will locate them in real time where the watch currently is. And if you have multiple watches, they can all appear on the map as well and you can select that. There's also a way to switch this into satellite view. If you wanted to find out where in a park maybe they are, then that's what you might be using the satellite view for. The second button there is to navigate directly to that child's location. This will open up Google Maps by default. So it finds the best route. It opens up the Maps app and it goes into direction mode immediately so you can start navigating. So whether you're driving or walking, you can do that directly. And the last button there is to change the zoom button settings and the positioning method. So positioning method to locate them, you can do that via satellite, Wi-Fi, GPS, etc. So a very convenient way to find at any time where your child is. And it's a very safe and secure process to do that. More settings. This is where you'll be able to change a lot of the functionalities on the actual smartwatch. So you can uh, add all of the contacts of all your children that are wearing this watch. You can add and install other apps through the App Center. You can change the wallpaper on the watch. Now class mode, this is where you define your kids class hours. So the watch goes into do not disturb mode and it acts as a regular watch in that scenario. So if you know that they've got periods during certain times, you can turn that on in class mode and they won't be able to receive any phone calls or start texting people during that time it will just be a watch like a clock however you can set to call as an emergency and then it will only bypass class mode and call your child you can also set for them to reject unknown calls as well so if someone is calling that data sim card number then it will reject it automatically if they're not saved on the watch as a contact you can set the watch wi-fi settings if you just wanted to use it indoors you have all of the standard watch settings as well. So your network, the language, the Wi-Fi password, the time zones and that kind of thing. If you lose the watch, you can report it stolen and then you can lock it remotely. And then you have general app settings for notifications, changing the password and all of those kinds of things as well. There's a contact us option here so you can get in touch with Emu directly in case you're having problems with the watch itself. 
Now one thing to remember as well from a data security point of view, the data stored on this watch is stored securely following all of the EU GDPR guidelines and the secure data is done through a professional third party supplier. Then you also have this plus icon on the top right hand corner. You can add contacts if you get another watch, you can add that as well. You can unbind an existing watch in case you wanted to unpair it and remove it from this account or you can transfer the ownership of this app to somebody else as well to take control. So maybe one of the other parents will be able to track and monitor their kids' movements from their app. Then you have the call button there at the bottom. So this will open up your contacts and then you can call them directly from there. Or if you go into chat, then you can do a video call directly from here, which is what I recommend doing. Okay guys, so now if you wanted to keep in touch, you can do two things. You can either do a video call or you can text message. If you go into the watch, and the child wants to get in touch with you, they click on chat. I've set this up to be my brother, so I can hit on brother there. And then you have the option to hold to talk, so you can send voice notes to the app of your parent. So for example, let me go ahead and send a voice note from this. Hey brother, what time will you be picking me up? So now that has been sent, it should appear in my notifications here. As you can see, it's just arrived. So I'll go in there, hit that. Hey brother, what time will you be picking me up? So now I can reply either by holding to talk or by sending a text message. So I can go into the keyboard mode and say, I'll pick you up in 10 minutes. Click send. You'll see that will arrive on the watch there. There you go, there's a notification. You go to chat and then there you have it. I'll pick you up in 10 minutes. So it's a very convenient way to keep in touch and you can also send some stickers as well. If I send that, you can see immediately it's appeared on the app. That's a really cool thing to have. And then you can also take photos and send that across to the app during a message as well or even some videos. One thing I really like because you can do a voice changer. So. The kids, you know, they really like these kind of things where you can just play around, have some fun, change your voice and then send that as a voice note back to your parent on the app. Now that's how you can do the text messaging. It's very easy, it's very fast and it's a convenient way to keep in touch. The other thing is you can do video calls. So this is probably the fastest and quickest way to keep in touch and have a chat through the camera. It's probably going to be one of the best ways to utilize this watch. So let me show you an example of a video call now. Hello. Hey, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. The video is actually just like a WhatsApp call, to be honest. It's not too bad. I just yeah. wanted to ask, like, what's my video quality looking like on the watch? Yeah, it's actually pretty clear. I wasn't expecting it to be that clear. Yeah, I think, like, um, the quality on the camera, it's... Uh, Obviously not the best, like a like a flagship smartphone, but for a watch, it's like perfect, and um, even the audio is just coming out perfectly fine. Um, do you see like any other options on the screen? On yeah. The watch for me. Yeah. If I so if I press there, there's a little little scissor icon um, on the bottom right, um, and that will just send a, a snapshot of of you to yourself. Okay. Try and hit that scissor icon. Okay. Oh, I've just received it. Let me just quickly open it while you're still on the call. Okay, yeah, it's a screenshot of myself. I can see that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I have an option here to switch to a voice call or look at the environment. So I can actually switch your camera around and take a look at your desk. So. Now I'm seeing the other side of the watch, so I can see your table with some wires and your laptop. So yeah, that's pretty convenient. You can't switch my camera around, right? No, I can't. Can you switch your own? Yeah, no, I can't. Okay, cool. All right, that looks pretty good. It's uh, quite smooth, even though I'm using my 4G data to run off the phone call and the video call. It's actually doing a pretty good job. I reckon it'll be a little bit even better if I had it on Wi-Fi and you was on Wi-Fi, but even then, it's still pretty good. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the watch back. I'm going to go and take some pictures and videos outside and then share that with everyone else watching this YouTube video. All right, sounds good. All right, guys, so let's take a look at some of the photos I've taken with the watch. So starting off, this picture was taken indoors. Now, just remember that this is a low resolution camera. It is five megapixels for the front camera and eight megapixels for the rear. So I'm just using the front camera here. As you can see, it is a little bit blurry and it's not too sharp. But again, just remember when you're looking at these pictures that it is from a smartwatch and I'm not reviewing top quality from a smartphone whatsoever. So having said that, I still think the picture looks a lot better on the screen of the smartwatch, but looking at it now on the computer, I can see it's faded out my skin color, but it does pick up the majority of the tones and actually all of the colors in the shot still came out pretty well. So this one, I've just taken a picture of my water bottle. I tried to get an object close as possible to make it a little bit like a portrait mode. It did auto focus on the bottle. It doesn't have a massive amount of depth of field on this because it still is a smartwatch. But again, everything is clear. I can read the text on the hand sanitizer in the background and everything in this portrait with the back camera is pretty clear for a watch. But when you move outdoors and use the back camera, you can see how actually clear this is. So for kids, when they're going out taking pictures, most likely they will take pictures using the back camera. And if you are out on a sunny day and it's a bright day like this, then everything will come out very well. And this can be something that's shared very easily with your friends and family. So I'm very impressed with this. Going back indoors, I was trying to take a picture whilst walking because the watch will be on your wrist. So I wanted to see if there's any type of stabilization. Obviously I knew that they didn't have that in built. I just wanted to see what the quality would look like if I was to shake a little bit and take the picture. So as you can see, there is a bit of blurriness. It's not completely sharp with the objects and the desk in the background. You can see there was movement, but at the same time, I wanted to see what would happen if I stand still and then zoom in. So the max zoom is six times optical zoom. As you can see, I took a picture of this frame on the wall and it is very grainy as you can see, but you can pick out what the object is in the picture. So if you was going to use this to zoom in, then I still think do it where it's a lot more natural lighting and you'll get top quality photos from that front. Going back to the selfie camera, this is how children would probably take their pictures by pointing the watch on their wrist at their face. So it depends on the angle. I can see that the skin tone is slightly more smoothened out than usual. I can read the text on my shirt. The color of my shirt is exactly what it was. I can see the details in the background and just taking into consideration of the resolution of this and the low lighting that I was in, I'm still pretty impressed. And this is similarly another example. Now going back outdoors, I took a picture of this field the nice color of the green grass, it really shows through. The sky is blue just as it was there. And in some cases, when I took a picture of the field, it was quite dark. You just have to let the watch settle and focus for a few seconds before you tap to take the picture. When you do, it does come out pretty clear. Now there is a lot of shadows in this picture of this tree, and that's because the distance I was standing at, the watch obviously struggled a little bit to pick out the contrast, the exposure. But overall, this is what I would expect for a camera on a watch and it's pretty good and like I mentioned earlier most of the photography when children are playing outdoors might be when it's really good weather and it's daytime and a lot of the pictures they take would be from this type of scenario so I wanted to really capture that and I'm quite impressed so even when I'm outdoors taking a picture of myself of course you can see the difference between the back camera and the front camera it does beautify a little bit so it's very soft toned and just remember if you send a picture from the emu watch to someone else who has the emu watch when they look at the picture on the actual watch screen, it will look a lot clearer than you're seeing it on a laptop or a computer, or even your phone as well, it would seem a lot clearer than this. So I think this does a really good job when you take pictures to share watch to watch. Of course, I don't see a lot of scenarios where people would use this at nighttime. The camera on this watch is not made for that specific purpose. So you can see it's very dark, it's very hard to see objects and details in the picture. There's no night mode on it. I wouldn't use this at nighttime. I will keep it to daytime photography. Now let's take a look at some example videos that I've taken both indoors and outdoors with this watch. Hey guys, so I'm just recording this using the front camera, which is the five megapixel. So what do you guys think of the video quality? It actually looks quite clear in the smartwatch itself. So let me know what you guys think of this video clip. Right guys, this is uh, the front facing camera. So just recording a video, I'll show you guys 
quality now if I face towards the sun a little bit might have better quality there it's actually not too bad it's quite windy so you probably hear a lot of wind noise and you might hear a bit of muffling from my voice but actually I'm quite impressed for a camera on a by the way, I just realized the video recording is capped at 30 seconds. All right guys, so that's it. This is a awesome watch. Now, if I had kids, then I would definitely be buying something like this. The last thing you want to do is give a five-year-old an iPhone or a Samsung phone or something like that, and they might lose it because those things are really expensive. This is a perfect alternative for younger children. You can keep in touch with them, you can find out where they are, and you have one less thing to worry about as a parent. So I highly recommend this for children. It's 199 pounds take a look at the description below to check out all of the information and you can purchase this came out very recently so try and grab them while you can they are going very fast and if there's anything else you'd like to know as usual get in touch otherwise i hope you subscribe i've got tons of really cool gadget reviews coming out in the near future i know you're going to really like those so i hope you like this video and i'll catch you guys next time take care